And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is the Brawlhalla competitive community 1v1 unrestricted mini tournament 10. So, yeah, uh, for those of you who are just now joining us, we've been through our round of 16, we've been through our quarterfinals, we are on to our semifinals right now. So, what we mean by unrestricted is stances are viable, any map is viable no matter what you pick you can use it so that's we just kind of wanted to have fun since there's been so much restriction you know no stances certain maps excluded things like that we wanted to come together just have some fun and allow everything to be used just you know for this you know once one time i mean it's been a long time since we've seen some of these maps in competitive play um but yeah we do have our first semifinals match but uh let me go ahead and jump on over to our bracket and show you guys what's going on. Oh, that worked right. <laughs> so yeah, uh, it looks like we have Blonked and Egg Soup up for our first match. After that, we will see... Oh, if I uh, get it up. Moose and Steve. So... Um, a lot of these players moved on through two rounds. The only player who has not moved on through two rounds was Blonked, who you will see in this upcoming match. He actually had a bye in the first round. We only had 15 players today. We did our early sign-ups, had 16 signed up early. Uh, five did not show up, so we removed them at 30 minutes into check-in, and we had, you know, late check-in. We only had a couple of people, but it does look like they are jumping into the game, so let's jump on over to our full and yeah the good luck have fun has been sent out so let's go ahead and update that score all right so we do have egg soup versus blonks for this egg soup in the cassidy or not Cassidy, the uh, Scarlet. He said he was going to be playing Scarlet here in the uh, Twitch chat a little bit a while ago. But uh, Blonked right now with his Ada. That's what we saw him play with uh, in the quarterfinals round after receiving that buy. Both these players, definitely good players. Blonked right now, you know, number 16 in the world. So, on rank. So, you, you know he's good. Egg Soup, uh, a little bit newer. But, hey, he, he's good as well. So, 
I mean, both these players, you know, know what the game. They know what they're doing. We do see Egg Soup taking an early lead here on Blanc. Is Blanc in the red? But uh, I mean, right, anything can go. It's still three stock to three stock. We have not seen a first strike as of yet. And as I say that, Egg Soup gets the first strike on Blanc. So yeah. Early lead for Egg Soup, three to two. It's somewhat short stock, you know. When it started, he was in the early stages of orange or mid orange, maybe. But uh, getting knocked knocked off there, off the edge. Oh, 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 oh! A lot of things going on there. You know, we had a bomb bouncing. We had a signature coming out of Egg Soup. A lot of jumping around, dodging around. Uh, Egg Soup in a lot of trouble and off the map right there. I'm assuming he knew he didn't have enough jumps to get back, so he just let it drop. So it's an even two-stocked, two-stock game right now. Though blocked in the yellow at this point. Right now we're seeing a lot of no-hits. Uh, they're just kind of spacing each other out, doing a little tiptoe dance here. But... Uh, but yeah, Egg Soup tossing his lance away. And right now, I would think that with that lance, he'd try and stick with it as much as he could to kind of outdo these guns, outdo the, that spear as well. But uh, the lance has been nerfed over the course of time. I know that. Beautiful signature bait. After that dodge, he saw that dodge coming, turned around, popped back with that jump on that signature move, knocks Blanc out. So it is a two to one game right now, starting in that deep yellow, early orange there for Egg Soup. And right now, Blanc in serious trouble as, you know, he's kind of been on that back foot his entire, this entire game so far. I mean, though he does get a beautiful signature right there, throws the weapon down, <laughs> does not follow up though, so Egg Soup is able to use that recovery move, that air heavy, to kind of get back to the map. But Egg Soup right now still flying all over the place, definitely well over 200 damage at this point. Uh, beautiful down down light coming out of uh, down quick out of egg soup blocked you know using a lot of signatures a lot of heavy force moves right now that we do see that neutral standing ground just coming out oh beautiful throw down from blocked another beautiful throw down and that's gonna even it up at one to one but such a short stock coming out of blocked right now he is in the red took a lot of damage from egg soup there just, what he needs to do right now is he needs to just kind of keep that distance off from Egg Soup, use his spear to kind of distance out Egg Soup and get as much damage as he can and maybe draw Egg Soup into it and into an error. That was a beautiful throw there out of Egg Soup. That Lance just going over the edge, but a slide two uppercut. Blanked loses game one. So, yeah. Egg Soup taking that first game off Blanked, our uh, our hero of the day as the number one seed coming into this tournament. So, yeah, we're gonna see game two coming up shortly. The second kill read was nice. I agree. So yeah, let's go ahead and update that scoreboard for you. and get that one on the correct person. So Egg Soup taking game one. We've seen a dominant performance from him so far. Does look like Blanc is gonna go with Thunderguard Stadium this time. So yeah, Egg Soup hype, Egg Soup hype. Egg Soup is our hero, the dark horse. A lot of random stuff coming out, but uh, let's jump on over to our fool now that we're in the game. Ladies and gentlemen, Egg Soup versus Blanc, game two. Given that nice courteous, uh, nice courteous, you know, taunt to each other, a wave and uh, standard wee. <laughs> but yeah, first hit does go to Egg Soup or Blanc. Sorry, and Egg Soup following up with a side air from the Lance right there. But I mean, Blanc, he knows he lost that first one. He was gaining some ground there at the end to possibly. You know, get close to winning that first game. He needs to keep that kind of going, that momentum going. Even though he did lose that first game, he needs to keep that momentum he had in that last game, in this game, to kind of, you know, get that game win off of Egg Soup, send this to, you know, game three. This is a best of five with our semis. So, you know, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. 
you know, whether or not, you know, Egg Soup wins this game, whether or not Blanc loses or wins this game, we are going to see a game three at least. So that's how our best of five works. Every every tournament now, we're doing best of five in semis and finals. So, boom, first strike actually goes to Blanc this time. You know, a nice good lead right here. You know, he is in that mid-orange range on his damage. It's, I mean, it, it is what it is. It's a little bit short, not too short. He does need to take as much damage off of Egg Soup as he can right now before he actually gets knocked out. So, um, and nope, he does not get very much damage at all as Egg Soup takes out Blonked, sends it to a two-stock game right here. And Blonked coming out with that standard kind of, you know, slide to neutral air combo. Egg Soup getting the dive kick into the neutral ground combo, but wow, murder suicide sends Egg Soup. And here we are, a 2 1 game, blonked on a short stock. Egg Soup almost making the bad move right there. Almost getting, you know, getting a accident fall there in the shenanigan area. Does manage to take Blonked out here, so we're down to a one-stock game. Very close game to here between Egg Soup and Blonked. The semifinal match, you know, we we could see it go three games, we could see it go five games, you never know. Egg Soup trying to just kind of push Blonked over into that mine, does not get it, no dice. The mine is off the table now, but, uh, but yeah, still putting a lot of damage here on Blonked. Oh, nice bomb throw. Does manage to, you know, get that hit on Blanc, but takes damage himself as he was a little too close. You know. Let's see how this plays out. Let's see how this plays out. Blanc with the guns, just kind of spacing out Egg Soup right now. He does manage to throw them. He wants to clear off the table. Does manage to get a second set of guns back, but a lucky, lucky kind of... Uh, Spawn there for Egg Soup gets that lance. And right now, you know, Blanc in the lead. He did some good spacing with those guns to get a lot of damage there on Egg Soup really quick. Manages to land that signature right at the end. Does not get the throw with his guns. And right now, Egg Soup in trouble, but not too much trouble as we do see the scoop there. And Blanc almost off that top boundary. It really, I mean, with that with that gun signature from Ada, you really kind of have to look out. You know, it, it lasts quite a bit of time. If you jump up too soon on an edge guard with that, you are going to get hit and possibly knocked out even. So right now, both players in red. This is essentially a sudden death on this game here. We are about four minutes in, half the allotted time that we give these players to play games. Oh, misses the signature. No dice. But with a lot of movement, with the ground pound on that double down, Egg Soup takes game two, ladies and gentlemen. So Egg Soup going two games up at this point on Blanked. He could be our hero, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, it, it, it's safe to say with two games up, there's a lot of work that needs to be done by Blanked to make a comeback here. Oh. <laughs> Clever ship, I've never beat Blanked. What a liar. <laughs> so it does look... Um, what's the map everyone hates? Blackguard Keep? No, God, no. Please, no. Yeah. So it looks like Blanc Blanked is going for Blackguard. He's gotten to pick the last two maps. So here we go. Into game three. This could be a final game, ladies and gentlemen. If Egg Soup does take out Blanked, this is gonna be uh, it's gonna be short-lived. All right, so semifinals, match one, game three here. Egg Soup with the lead, two games to none, and we are on Blackguard Keep. Personally, this is one of the maps I personally hate the most. I mean, I've had so many bad ranked games in the past on this map that I just I do not like it and it seems it seems to be the map that comes up the most for me too so you would think I would have uh, you know learned to play on it but hey you know <sighs> all right so right now Blanked in the lead over Egg Soup 
a pretty good lead. I mean, he's getting towards orange, but I mean, Egg Soup is in that uh, that red. A good hit now. We'll send Egg Soup flying and off the map. Oh, beautiful maze ball throw. Blonked right there, just dodging away from it, getting hit by the maze ball. And yeah, it's... Right now, Egg Soup's just trying to get as much damage on before he gets KO'd. Beautiful uppercut. Does not net the KO, though. Oh, misses the throw. If he would have waited just a second longer, he might have actually gotten that throw on Egg Soup and maybe gotten the KO, as most likely Egg Soup would have bounced off the wall and not received any more uh, any more jumps. Oh, and this map's so wide now. Just so utterly wide. And it has to do with those those platforms, those moving platforms that you see. I mean, it was one of those things that they were so close to the edge, it was so easy to get a KO that the devs actually a while ago extended the boundary on it. So this map is so super wide now. Oh, beautiful slide to uppercut and egg soup with the comeback gets the first strike. He was down on health, but he wasn't out. He took that... You know, played a little save and got that first KO. He does now need to get as much damage as he can once again without getting KO'd, but that's not going to happen. Blonked with a beautiful throw, knocking Egg Soup into that mine. And here we go. It's a 2-2, two, 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 almost even damage. It's a two-stock game, ladies and gentlemen. That's what it is. These players very evenly match the two... The two wins that Egg Soup has over Blanked really doesn't say how close this match has been so far. I mean, if this if this goes down to the last stock again and Egg Soup ends up winning, it's going to go down as a three games to none. And it's really not going to show how close it was. Blanked right now putting Egg Soup in red real fast with that recovery move. Takes Egg Soup out, gets that stock lead. Bear, you know, in mid yellow right now, a good position for Blanc to be in to take this game three, maybe get himself, you know, a game here, change the way that the kind of momentum is going. Oh, and Blanc right now. Blanc still putting damage on Egg Soup, still in the deep orange, now in the red now. From Egg Soup's uh, nice little attack there. He does manage to get the corner. He got the corner grab right there. It, oh, 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 two stocks. Egg Soup right there. So that is our first win for Blonked. Congratulations, Blonked, for not getting three gamed. And yeah, we're going to jump over to our main right there. Give him that one game, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to see what. Uh, here comes the end for me. Egg Soup going Mammoth Fortress. That is his pick, Mammoth Fortress. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are going into game four of the semifinals match between Blanked and Egg Soup. And let's jump on over to that full. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So Egg Soup with the first two wins here. Blanked pulling out a two-stock win on that last game. Let's see if he can keep that momentum going in favor for him and send this to a Game 5. I know it elongates the tournament time, makes it a bit longer, but I mean, we all love seeing such closely matched games that it goes to you know the full amount of games. All right, so here we go. A little bit of you know throw action, some signatures. Egg Soup right now landing one of those signatures. No player you know clearly in a lead as of yet. Blanked though going in with the defeatist attitude. So you know that's going to be weighing on his mind. He thinks he's going to lose this game. We'll see how that plays out though. <laughs> I misspelled Sentinel and gave Egg Soup bad. Bad luck. Okay, okay. All right, so here we go. Egg Soup right now in Sentinel. He did make that uh, that character change. We'll see how it works out for him. I mean, right now it doesn't seem to be working out too good for him. Is Blanked right now has him in the red. Blanked only in the yellow at this point. So, oh, and there comes that armor from Egg Soup Sentinel keeps him from getting KO'd there off the top boundary. 
Blanc right now doing a good job just kind of spacing out Egg Soup. Beautiful signature to punish that down air from Egg Soup. First strike goes to Blanc. And we'll see, can he send this to a game a game five? We are in game four right now. I'd love to see a game five. Makes my day longer, but I don't care. So yeah, Blanc, you know, right now putting more damage on Egg Soup. As I like to say, this is free damage right here. So he is a stock ahead, getting free damage on Blanc. Oh, and really what Egg Soup needs right now is another good hit. Oh, 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 and Blanc does make it back. Egg Soup right now has Blanc in the red, but Blanc, oh, there it is. The stomp to the side air with the edge guard. No! Blanc makes it back. Grant, he does get uppercutted. Egg Soup gets the uppercut on him. Does not sit. They were quite low on the side of the uh, island there, so... I mean, Blanc still alive on his first stock, putting more free damage on Egg Soup right now. Oh, is he going to get it 3-1? Egg Soup right now, oh, misses the uppercut. So, I mean, Blanc coming out really strong, does get KO'd there for his first stock loss. Egg Soup with the stomp to side air. So, I mean... Egg Soup in a lot of trouble right now. It's not something that he can't come back from. He is in the red versus a Blanc in the white. They're both at two stocks. I mean, right now, Blanc needs to stick with the game he's playing because it seems it seems to be working well for him. Egg Soup doing a little bit of change up here, just trying to, you know, get some throws on, maybe, uh, maybe get Blanc out of his element right now, make him kind of change up what he's doing. What I'd like to see from Egg Soup is tight kind of get under those uh, those blasts, but that's a beautiful signature. Egg Soup trying to go sideways. A dodge up probably would have been a better option for him there. He does <coughs> Let's go down 2-1 to one at this point. Catches the mine mid-air. Beautiful move there by Egg Soup. He does... He, he does get the uh, the knockoff here by at, on Blanc, but not getting the KO. I mean, right now Blanc in the red, a good shot from Egg Soup will send him flying and off the edge. But Egg Soup needs to land that. I don't think he's gonna get it with those guitars. He needs to switch over to that hammer. It's it's much more gracious with the force that the hammer has. Um, and right now, I mean. <sighs> It's what he needs. He needs a good hit. And those guitars just are not going to give it to him right now uh, without taking a lot of damage. He has to, you know, give up damage to get damage with those guitars. Beautiful dive kick to kind of, you know, punish that dodge there from Blanc. And right now, Egg Soup with the guitars again. And Blanc clearing the table. He wants Egg Soup to have those guitars, I'm pretty sure. And right now, a hammer coming out for Egg Soup. Could this be that second stock that he needs to take off of Blanc? He does, he does opt to stick with that hammer. So, beautiful throw right there. <coughs> the second throw, though. Oh, and wow. A ground pound coming out. Almost a mistake by Egg Soup. Almost KO'd there by the recovery from the uh, from the guns. And ladies and gentlemen, it is red, red right now. So even if Egg Soup does get that KO, he is so far behind on the damage. It is virtually impossible to get that uh, that game. It's not completely impossible. It's virtually impossible. But I mean, it's going to be such a hard uphill battle for Egg Soup that. I, I'm gonna call this for uh, for Blanc right now. I mean, <laughs> egg soup, take my energy coming out from the chat. Oh, guys, don't go, don't do capital. It's bad luck. <laughs> oh, beautiful throw by Blanc there with the mace ball, but egg soup with the dodge and the uppercut to finally send it to a one stock game at this point. But with that uppercut, Blanc sends it to game five. It is even, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. We're seeing game five come up here so early. That's not the scene I want to be on. But ladies and gentlemen, it's going to game five. 
Whoever wins this, this is a sudden death game right here. Whoever wins this wins the match and moves on to the finals. <laughs> All right, so uh, Egg Soup saying, let's go Thunder Guard. So we saw Mammoth, then we saw Thunder Guard. Both those games, Egg Soup won. Then we saw um, Black Guard, and Blanc won Black Guard. We went back to the very first map we saw with Mammoth, and Blanc won that one. So right now, Blanc, with the advantage here, it's it's all in his favor right now. We're going into game four. Let's get some music. Let's see how this goes. Let's get the fight back. Wayne Robson, the fight back. Perfect, perfect song timing for this. Let's see if Egg Soup can make his fight back, or if it is going to essentially be Blanc's fight back from being down two games to nil, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so first hits do come out. Right now, Blanc in the advantage. Egg Soup down right now. Or, sorry, Blanc not in the advantage. Blanc down. Egg Soup up on damage. Very close, though, still. Oh, let's see how it goes, guys. Oh, having a little problem with the uh, the CC radio. But yeah, I mean, both these players kind of spacing out right now. Egg Soup doing it with throwing. Blanc doing it with the guns. <laughs> a little footsies dance coming out of Blanc there. And right now, we're not seeing a lot of damage come out from either player. Neither wants to get close to the other. Neither wants to make that mistake that's going to send them into a lot of damage. Oh, but that that down air from Egg Soup allows Blanc to get in a couple of hits. Maybe kind of even up this damage a bit, but Egg Soup not going to go down that easily. Not in the... Not going to, you know, say, Blanc, you can have that damage. Right now, Blanc in the red. A good hit from Egg Soup will send him flying. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a premier match versus two up-and-coming players right now. Oh, and right now it's Egg Soup going with those signature moves, those heavy moves. He wants to get that KO, and he wants to get it as soon as possible before losing any more damage here. But right now, it's pretty even. Both players in the red, though Blanc, I'm sure, has quite a bit more damage. Beautiful toss up, and then ground pound out of Egg Soup. Does not catch Blanc, though. And that Mace Ball coming out. Blanc still using those guns. He is favoring those guns right now versus Egg Soup, and that stomp to side air. Gets that first strike for Egg Soup. Stock one goes down for Blanked. And take my energy being spammed in chat by Zio, by Fuzzy, by a lot of people. They want Egg Soup to win. Egg Soup the fan favorite here. Oh, beautiful side air from Blanc. He really needs to get Egg Soup out here before taking any more damage. It's like I always say, you know, free damage. He does manage to get the uppercut. And now it's a 2-2 game. Blanc only in the yellow at this point. So, I mean, it's one of those things where, you know, he's not too far behind at this point. It's very easy to make that comeback. Oh, Blanc using that platform for his uh, for his advantage to stay away from that uh, that side air from Egg Soup. Egg Soup clearing the table right now. You know, I, right now I don't think if clearing the table is something that really benefits anybody because I mean Blanc is going to stick with those guns it seems. Those of what he's been going with. That's what gave him that fight back. We do see that ground pound through the platform to knock Blanc out. And it's a 2-1 lead right now. Almost a full stock for Egg Soup. He has a huge lead right now in this game 5. This might be the fight back that Egg Soup needed. Blanc right now in a lot of trouble. He needs to kind of, you know, refigure out what he's doing. It looks like Egg Soup has adapted at this point to Blanc's gunplay. So, I, is this the time that he switches to the spear and brings something new to the table? We'll see. But right now, Egg Soup putting more and more damage on him. Ooh, bad jump. He had to use his dodge right there, Blanc did, in order to escape that bomb. 
could have been very, very, very bad for Blanc if he would have, you know, if Egg Soup would have keyed in on that, that he was going to have to use his dodge in order to get out. Egg Soup could have done a beautiful punish on it. But yeah, right now, both players still just kind of spacing each other out. Beautiful through the shenanigan area there for Blanc. Oh, but once again, that jump, a bad jump. Two stock game there for Egg Soup. Egg Soup moves on to the finals, ladies and gentlemen. I know you're all excited for him, and you guys should be excited for him as he is moving on, taking out the number one seed in this tournament. Sorry, Blanc, you went far. Congratulations, Egg Soup, for moving on. So, yeah, that was a long match. That was a long match, guys. But, yeah, we are on to our next semifinal match. It's going to be Moose versus Steve. Wow. So, yeah, I mean, that, that was a long match. So... Yeah, as we get closer to these finals, we're going to send some hype up, man. And, uh, let me go ahead and post out a tweet again. Blonked falls to Egg Soup in the... at Brawlhalla. MT10 semis. Moose versus... Steve next. Twitch.tv slash Compton. Alright guys, so that tweet is out. I am at Greg RT Henson if you want to follow me. Let's uh, jump over here to this scene real quick. So yeah, I am at Greg RT Henson. You can see me right there at Greg RT Henson. Go ahead, retweet it. There it is right there, guys. If you want to support Blo or Egg Soup, go ahead and retweet that. But for now, we are going to jump over to our next match. And we're going to reset everything here. So, do do, do We are going to see Moose and Steve. All right, so let's reset those scores for those players. Wow, what such a such a great match with those two competitors there. I mean, that went to five games. That's the only game that we've seen go to extra games so far this tournament. So, yeah, it does look like uh, yeah we have Moose and Steve in the room, guys. Pokey person saying Steve wins. I don't know. Look, who, who do you guys think is going to win? <laughs> All right. So, looks like Steve right now is kind of who people were going for. Huh. All right. So, yeah. I'm going to give them the ready to go. And we're going to see this... Uh, the second semifinals match going on right now. Stevenator versus Moose. Moose hailing from the Jotunheimer clan. The first clan of Brawlhalla used to be the biggest and strongest clan, but uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Is Jotunheimer still the strongest, guys? I mean, I, I took a couple weeks off from the community there just to kind of rest. And, you know, as far as I know, they were still pretty strong. So, game one coming out here between Steve and Moose as I reset that scoreboard for you guys. Boom. All right, so early damage coming out from both players. It seems, you know, in these first seconds to be fairly even. We're through 20 seconds. Both players at about the same damage level. So, I mean... Yeah, we are on King's Pass. This used to be one of my favorite maps back back in the day um, when I played a lot. I, I just loved it because I played Nash. I was a hammer player. It was a very strong hammer Mac. Beautiful play there by Moose on the edge guard. Gets that first strike going. And uh, yeah, Stevenator down a stock already. So yeah, guys. I mean, Steve, I know he's your fan favorite out there in the chat, but uh, but yeah, it looks like uh, Dusty saying Tech Crew might be the strongest. Clan is best clan. 
I like that. <laughs> but yeah, right now, you know, kind of even, even Steven right here, Steve at yellow, Moose at yellow, Steve getting a nice uh, couple of hits there though, following up with that signature move. And can he pull it back here? I mean, Moose is in the orange. Beautiful recovery move there by Steve. And right into the ground pound, it's an even 2-2 game. Grand Steve in that early orange as we see it right now. So, yeah, both players playing Bodvar. Both players with sword. We see a lot of dodge, touch. Or dodge side air touch dodge side air touch we do see stevenator now in the red can he can he you know get more damage here on moose before getting ko'd that's really what he needs to do moose coming with the hammer he knows he needs that big strike capability and he pulls it up gets the recovery move and gets the ko so it's a 2-1 game right now so steve falling prey in that shenanigan area to moose's hammer right as he picks it up <laughs> more sword action the sword for bodvar is kind of one of those get your damage on get your speed damage on and then pull out that hammer to get that ko that's really kind of what it seemed like now for a long time with the bodvar and beautiful stomp misses the side air due to the dodge but follows right up to punish that dodge with the neutral air steve gets that ko it's one to one right now very close granted steve is in the yellow at this point does not get that signature but gets the stomp into the bear signature beautiful beautiful move there by steve you know kind of evening up this damage a little bit on moose and he does need to get a few more hits to fully even it up as well as not take any hits but i mean he's doing a good job he went down very early to moose he slowly kind of pulled himself out of that pit that he they set himself in rather early but Moose right now with that down air just kind of bouncing Steve. I mean, is it too soon to call it? I mean, Steve using the fall off right there. And we'll see. I mean, Moose right now playing very safe with that sword. He wants to put, you know, more damage on Steve before getting to the hammer. Steve, with a good kind of recovery move, could, or, you know, a stomp to side air, might be able to take Moose out here. But Moose, opting for the quick damage, gets that ground pound, and gets that first win here. So, yeah, Moose taking game one. Jotunheimer showing up. And we're, we're raring here for game two, ladies and gentlemen. Ready and raring to go. Let's see what that map pick is. Oh, I guess they're just going to do it on the fly. All right, so map pick is going to be Kings once again. Kings once again, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, game two of our semifinal versus Steve and Moose. Moose hailing from the J.O. clan. Steve kind of not in the clan. Or as a crew, as some people have told me it needs to be called. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm old school. I call it a clan. It's always been clans. <laughs> Alright, so early damage, kind of even here. Much like we saw from that last game. Stevenator right now, though, with the switch up to Cassidy. Kind of, you know... Going with that attack speed, uh, you know, it's one of those things. Cassidy, you know, has some of the best signatures in the game. Has some of the best, you know, attack speed in the game. Actually has the best attack speed. With that ground pound, gets the first strike. So last time we saw Moose get a good early first strike. Stevenator coming back this game, getting that first strike on Moose. Granted, he is in red right now, so it is a very short stock at this point. <laughs> oh, beautiful scoop there from Moose. It's an even 2-2. Two -two. We'll see how this goes. Steve right now without a weapon. Moose with that hammer. That hammer is so powerful that this map has. Oh, beautiful signature punishing that dodge from Stevenator. So Stevenator, who had that early lead right now, kind of in danger in that orange. Moose in the yellow. I mean, oh, beautiful, beautiful recovery move there from Moose. 
a little late on that double down. If he would have, you know, gone a little sooner, he might have been able to grab Steven Hader on that on the end of that dodge. So, I definitely kind of maybe a mental mistake, but it it doesn't look like it hurt him too much as he does get that ground pound right there, send it to a two one game. And yeah, guys, it's it's two one Moose in that uh, that solid orange right now. I mean, it, if Steve can get a hammer. Oh, and an, eh, a mistake there by Moose. Not wall tapping. Instead, going for two ground pounds. And it's an even 1-1 one, one game. So, Moose making a few mistakes here in this uh, this game, too. Could cost him and, you know, make it kind of a best of three at that point. I mean, if he gives up this game to Steve right now, it's essentially a best of three. Oh, barely misses that scoop. That would have been game right there. I'm pretty sure if he would have gotten that recovery move. Ground pound. Steve making the run. Oh, but you don't run to that shenanigan area. Steve, double, you know, thinking twice about what he was doing there. Oh, <laughs> I would have laughed to see a murder suicide, but beautiful side air from Moose, knocking Steve into the mine. Steve goes down for the second game in a row. Moose gets that, uh, that two game lead, ladies and gentlemen. I mean,. Can Steve make that comeback like we saw Blanc do? Grant Blanc did lose to Egg Soup in the fifth game, but yeah. All right here we go. It looks like Steve making another character switch. Now over to Scarlet. So let's jump in to see that game. All right, so Steve has to win this game or go home. So that's essentially where he sits right now. And he's switching to Scarlet. Scarlet with so much force on her character. And yeah, right now, I mean, Steven here coming out with that Lance. I mean, is this, is the Lance really what is going to put him over the top on Moose? I mean, it, it, it's possible. I mean, granted, Moose does have the hammer. The hammer is a little bit uh, dicey when it comes to the lance. I mean, if you can punish somebody, you can punish them real good with that hammer. But yeah, sword right now. Steve going with that hammer. Just, I don't know. I, I would have stuck with that lance. I mean, definitely with Moose switching over that sword, it was probably the better pick of weapon right now for Steven Hater. And that scoop does not net the KO. Very close. And Blanc gets bounced by Steve. Both players in a very deep red right now. <laughs> oh, another bounce to not net the kill. Oh, beautiful bomb throw, but not followed up on the dodge. And first strike goes to Moose. What I would have liked to see Steve do there was maybe after he threw that bomb, get an uppercut to kind of punish that, that move, that dodge that Moose did. I and mean, if he would have done that, it would have been a KO. He would have gotten the first KO. But hey, it's 2-2 right now. One hit on Steve. It, it's a two-stock game. We'll see how it goes. I mean, just little things that I'm noticing here between these two players and their play. Steve! Woo! Quick kill there on Moose. And it's a 2-1 game. And he's in that very light yellow. Oh. Moose, what's going on, my friend? Come on, guys. If you're in chat, give Steve your energy. We want to see this go to game four, maybe game five. Oh, beautiful signature. I mean, Steve had no no jumps left. He had already used his dodge. Moose knew it. Used that signature. Took him out. So it's a one-stock game now, guys. I mean, if, if Moose can pull this off, he's going to you know save a lot of energy for that finals that he's going to be playing against Egg Soup. Oh, and Steve just dodging away from that uh, that side neutral, or side neutral, side side quick on the ground from Moose gets that beautiful uh, beautiful work there with the uh, with the lance. I mean, right now that lance is the perfect weapon to be using against that sword. I've said it for a long time, especially when Hitori's were so big. And there it is, Steve takes game three. We're going to game four, ladies and gentlemen. 
are we gonna see the same thing that happened the last time where we see two two one I mean that that was a beautiful comeback there from Steve that Lance really showing to be very potent uh, it does look like we are jumping right into it so yeah let's see what you guys say in the chat he took your energy he took your energy GG or go Steve so yeah we're getting the game four here Steve versus Moose of the semifinals bout right now I mean Steve still needs to win two straight games in order to win this match Moose only has to win one of the next two in order to take this that's kind of the hole that Steve had put himself in I mean it's it's so hard when you go down those first two games on a five set I mean it's yeah But yeah, I mean, early here, I mean, Moose right now, I mean, we're on Thunder Guard. This is, this is a typical, you know, map you'd see in 1v1. But uh, Steve right now in a little bit of trouble. He is using that Lance to good effect now uh, that, you know, oh, but that hammer coming out. Nice launch there with that side air from Steve. Gets the ground pound. Yeah, Moose is not able to recover. Beautiful ground pound there from Steve. He knew that the dodge was out, that Moose needed the dodge to get back. Moose really didn't need it, but he brought it out a little too soon and paid for it from Steve. Beautiful ground pound, double ground pound, but does not touch! Oh, huge mistake from Steve there. He was out, he had already double jumped, went two ground pounds, went below the map, was too far for a jump and a dodge. And sadly, we see a huge mistake there from Steve. If he wouldn't have made that mistake, he had the chance of going up three stocks to one in this game. Oh, Steve, why so greedy? Beautiful mind throw, though. Does go up two to one here. Very little damage, but I mean, that could have been... If Moose wins this game, I'm calling it right there. That mistake by Steve was the reason that Moose might win this game. But right now, Moose down to that last stock. Steve still in the yellow. Some great, great Lance work here. Being a Lance player of the past myself, I love seeing the Lance still in competitive play. And look at that. Beautiful, just kind of catching Steve on the end of his signature. Moose with his uh, with his bear signature. Going underneath, you know, Steve, you know, trying to catch that protection, does manage to two-stock Moose right there. So ladies and gentlemen, we're going to another game five. We're doing it. Another game five. So let's update that scoreboard. Two for Steve. Wow. Wow. Two game fives. Oh, we're definitely going to need a break after these semifinals. So you guys are giving Steve your, uh, your power. We're going to game five. Who's going to win it? Who's going to win it? <laughs> I would put on the final countdown, but it's a copyrighted song. I don't want this stuff to get muted. So, so yeah, early damage coming out for both players like we've seen all day. Both players just kind of feeling each other out. Here we go. This is the last game. Whoever wins this moves on to the finals and goes and plays against Egg Soup. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, beautiful Moose right there from Moose. Ground pound into down air, and Steve does not have enough to get back. He was so far down. He was right on the edge, right at the boundary. Almost makes it back, but just not enough. Uh, and really, it was him going for that left side of the left island that really just kind of put him in a bad situation. Um, if he would initially jump to that side to draw Moose away and then come back, he might have actually been able to get back. So yeah, Moose in a one-stock lead right now. Very short stock, as I you know I always you always hear me say. Going for those signatures gets punished by Steve with that side air from the hammer. So it's a 2-2 game right now. 
and right now Moose with a couple of neutral errors right there. Noggin Steve up in the air. Does not get to finish it out though. Right now both players wielding hammers. Oh, beautiful ground pound from Moose since Steve packing. It's a 2-1 game right now. Moose, it, we're, we might see it the same way we saw our first semifinal games. Two wins, two wins. The third win coming from the original player. It's so hard to win those three games in a row, especially when there's so much time to just kind of, you know, develop, you know, and learn from the way you've lost in previous games. Oh, beautiful aerial work there from Moose. You notice he does get that wall tap in. It's something that we saw last game. Steve with a very detrimental thing where he did not wall tap and he went with those ground pounds. Moose making sure to ground to or sorry, he went with the ground pounds and forgot to wall tap. But you know, you see Moose here making sure he gets those wall taps in. I believe in that game three, he also fell due to not or almost fell due to not, you know, doing his wall tap. But right now, Moose in the red, finally. Steve doing his best to kind of get it to a 1-1 game. This is all free damage right now for Moose. That free damage does end, though, there with that nice neutral air coming out of Steve. And give me a second, guys. I need to, uh, that's a little too big, guys. <laughs> it's a little too big. Yeah, went ahead and timed out one of them, but it does look like Steve wins that. Sorry, I was dealing with chat. I wasn't able to commentate. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks for spamming the chat, but Steve... Takes out Moose. I did not see how it happened. I'm sorry. I'll have to go back and watch it. I want to see the end of that game. But you guys at least got to see it. So, yeah. Our final is going to be Steve versus Egg Soup. Wow. So, yeah, guys. Let's jump on over to that bracket. Oh. Bracket time. Bracket time, bracket time, bracket time. So, as you can see, Egg, Zoo, Egg Soup versus Steve. Yeah, energy transfer complete. Yeah, guys, I, I don't mind you guys saying take my energy, saying that stuff, but please don't make it a big block of text like this. I mean, that's, that's what distracted me. That's what pulled me away from the commentary to actually time out somebody. So please, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Steve or Egg Soup. I'm not supposed to spell your name with caps. Where, where, where is it with caps? Is it in the very first round? Sorry. Uh, uh, hey, hey, that one's. We might change this, and it might hurt you, man. Because that one's been that way all day, and you've been winning. So, but yeah, guys, we are gonna take a quick break here before. Uh, before the finals, one thing I do want to do is get out a tweet. And yeah, guys, I'm going to jump over to my scene for the tweet. You guys are going to watch me type it out here. All right. Finals of at Brawlhalla. MT10 coming up after a short break. Egg Soup versus Steve. Twitch.tv slash Compton EMT. All right, guys. Tweeting it now. You can see me on the at Greg R.T. Henson. Looks like I got three notifications. Awesome, guys. Go ahead and retweet that out. We're going to jump to a, uh, a real quick, a real quick uh, break before we jump into these finals. Uh, we got 43 viewers. I don't know how many are over on... Uh, oh, looks like we still got two watching over on Beam. Awesome, guys. So that gives us a total of 45 people watching. Let's get that up past 50. Let's get it up past 50 before this break concludes. All right, guys. As before, once that uh, that intro video starts, you'll hear that song, Opposition by Alex Heat. Jump back. Go get yourself another drink. Take another bathroom break. 
We'll be back shortly in five minutes.
one, brawl! Alright guys, so welcome back. It is Compton EMT. Give me half a second. I left my uh, my upstairs door open. <laughs> Apparently there are kids in the kitchen. <laughs> so yeah. Um, yeah, so we're back. So let's get some music going and give you guys a little recap of what's going on. So yeah, today was Brawl's Brawl Competitive Communities Mini Tournament 10. So that we're into the finals at this point. And we have two competitors, very much fan favorites. We have Steven Nader and Egg Soup, both in the finals. So just to kind of uh, jump over to the bracket and we'll look at it. So essentially, you know, Egg Soup came out beat Ashes 1, a J.O. member, a Jotunheimer member, and then came out and uh, beat Box to move on to the semifinals. In those semifinals, he actually beat Blonde, who was our number one seed. So um, he came and beat the number one player in the tournament this time around. You know, great job there from Eggs. As far as Steve goes, Steve... Coming out of the right side of the bracket, he beat out Sandman in that early round of 16 that we did not stream. After that, he did beat another, you know, kind of favorite of Magma Bob to move on to those semifinals. Magma Bob, a great player, a long-term player. And then in the semifinals, he actually faced off against Moose, uh, who passed out through Shark Ninja and JX1. So Moose, a very good player, and all four of those players in the semifinals, very, very well played. Both of those semis went to five games, and yeah, it's... <laughs> I see over there Zaholi Fail saying, no J.O. finals. Zeho, you have not been a fan of J.O. for a long time, I know that. So yeah, we do have Steve and Egg Soup vying for the title of mini tournament 10 for those of you who might just be joining us this is a this is a 16 man tournament it's a mini tournament as we like to call it uh, and for this one to be a little fun we made it completely open you can use stances you can pick any map you want it is unrestricted so as we get here into these finals versus these two good players uh, this is going to be a best of five much like the semi-finals but we will be having another tournament in two weeks time uh, it's going to be mini tournament 11. the great part about this mini tournament 11 it's going to be our first mini tournament of brawl ball so yeah guys definitely come out for that info will be posted shortly after this tournament completes 
Um, sad part, though, about that tournament is I won't be there to help you guys out. I won't be there to stream it for you, anything like that. Most likely, you will be seeing the Streaker 1337 part of Intoxicated Gaming. Um, he helped me stream the Grand Tournament 3. Uh, a lot of good feedback about him and the way he commentates and things like that. So we might be seeing him there, depending on his work schedule, for Mini Tournament 11. If not... We'll let you know who's going to be streaming it, and they'll definitely do a good job. All of the people in the Brawlhalla competitive community, I love the admins we have, the people that work on this stuff. They all do a great job. So, yeah, with no further ado, I think it's time to get to those finals. So we do have both Egg Soup and Steve in the room Let's jump on over to our main screen. Let's go ahead and reset those scores. I forgot to do it before the... Uh, the, before we moved off of it last time. So let's go ahead, zero that out. And yeah, let's let's jump over here and zero this out too. Just so I don't have to do it once the game starts. But yeah, I mean, like I said, both these competitors, fan favorites, you know, we're going to see how it goes. And yeah, it's a best of five. Everything is eligible to be used. Good. To, I'm going to give them the go. Good to go. Good luck, have fun. Oh, no! Sorry, guys, I just dropped out of that game. There we go, we're back in. Good to go. <laughs> Alright, so let's jump back over to that main. Here we go, guys. Egg Soup versus Steve. Game one of the Brawlhalla Competitive Community Mini Tournament 10 Finals. And yeah, both these players, you know, Egg Soup and Steve, both coming out with a bow. That's something I like to see. It's something I started a while back in uh, in the actual you know ranked play. Is you give yourself a nice friendly taunt. You give your opponent a nice friendly taunt at the very start. I like seeing that that has persisted in the community. It's, it's a great thing. It's great sportsmanship. I know there is no, you know, honor. You do what you can to win. But it's great to see that competitors are still doing the uh, the bow or the wave or whatever, whatever they have at the beginning of the game. It's just something that I really love to see. It, it's the friendliness of the Brawlhalla community as we do see Egg Soup off the edge there. Oh, beautiful, perfect timing on that dodge to save himself from the ground pound of Stevenator. I think he was just waiting to the last second to kind of do that dodge and it actually worked out for him, though he does fall now. Steve with the first strike. Egg Soup down one stock. It's a 3-2 game. But yeah, guys, I mean... <laughs> And both of them have a rushdown weapon. Egg Soup here with this Sentinel has the guitars. You can rush down with those guitars. I was one of the... F Before anybody really used guitars, I started using guitars. But that's not originally what I was going to say. I was one of the first people to get absolutely decimated by the guitars. There's actually a video where I went pretty on tilt about it. As we do see Egg Soup take out Stevenator with that signature on his Sentinel's hammer. And it's a 2-2 game. But yeah, I absolutely got decimated by Binks with Lucian, and I went completely on tilt. But yeah, I it, it's one of those things, you know, you have the sword, you have the guitars. Sword and guitars, the two rush down kind of, you know, movesets in this game. They both are short, quick weapons, but I mean, that quickness just allows them to get on top of you and do a lot of damage. Also, none of their hitboxes are disjointed, so all of their hitboxes actually touch them as we do see a nice down quick Two side air there from Steve as Egg Soup goes off the side. Does manage to make it back, but I mean, both players at red right now. It's a pretty even game. It's something we like to see here in the finals. Definitely even games. We'll see how many games this goes to, but yeah, wow. Steve dropping down below the uh, the platform there to actually get that uh, that hammer neutral, and then Egg Soup with the neutral unarmed heavy wow and this is down to a one stock game ladies and gentlemen this this game so far has been i'm gonna knock you out and i'm immediately gonna knock you out 
all right, I knock you out. I'm going to immediately knock you out. So we'll see which player actually triumphs here as Egg Soup getting a lot of the good damage here on Steve with that rushdown weapon and the guitars. And Steve kind of in a bad spot right now as he is in red, but putting together a combo of his own. Wow, that was a down quick to side air to down air and then attempted ground pound. But Egg Soup with the signature punishing the signature of Steve. Both these players right on top of each other with just kind of, you know, what they're thinking, what they're doing. They're playing exactly the same. And Egg Soup comes out on top for that first game. So we're going to go ahead and give him that uh, first point on the scoreboard. Boom. Okay. And yeah. Wow. That was. Uh... All right. Looks like we're going to Thunder Guard Stadium for game two. It was Steve's pick since he was the loser of that game. Looks like. Uh... Yeah. Egg might be the favorite out of these two players. I don't know. I don't know. It looks like everybody's going for Egg. I'm in love. <laughs> All right, let's see if they give the uh, the taunts out again. I know I was so happy to see that last time. Both with the bow once again. Awesome. Love to see that friendliness out of the competitors. So we're going to jump back over onto that full. And yeah, oh, whoa. A lot of early damage coming here out of Egg Soup on Stevenator. Riding that, uh, that proverbial advantage there. Right now, unarmed versus the sword, that is not somewhere you really want to be. Against both of the rushdown weapons, the guitars and the sword, you do not want to be unarmed. But we do see rushdown versus rushdown now. Both these players, very like-minded, very, very similar in the way that they play this game, even though they are playing different characters. Oh, and Egg Soup and Steve both throwing away their weapons. And Egg really going for a lot of these throws right now. Um, throws not doing as much damage as they did way back when, you know, the beta started for this game. Beautiful side air. Kind of going back and forth in the air. Another beautiful side air there in the shenanigan area for Egg Soup and that first strike. So, yeah, some good unarmed unarmed damage coming out as i like to say free damage since you know he is a stock up and essentially because you know any good hit will knock him off the boundary at this point it's extreme free damage Ooh, very close and there it is good little combo there with the stomp to the side air you see that a lot with a lot of hammer users uh it's a good setup move into a good night like quick clean attack with a lot of force it's a great ko move the hammer probably one of the most forceful weapons in the game and both players opting for the hammer right there though we do see egg soup toss his away and beautiful recovery move out of Steve there. But ground pounding, Egg Soup taking the lead. Two to one right here. Only in the light orange damage point at, you know, at this point in the game. One step closer to his victory here. Beautiful throw into that, uh, that ground pound. Oh. I love that they added that third hit onto the Qatar neutral attack. It's just, it's so much better. Beautiful signature from Egg Soup, and right now Steve in a very precarious position as he is in red on his last stock. Grand Egg Soup with his short second stock, but I mean, any good hit, I mean, that good, no! Oh. Steve barely making it out. Oh! Egg Soup got trapped underneath that uh, that island there for a second. Did manage to get back. Steve made him punish a little bit for that. But, oh, beautiful throw right there. Stalling out the throw. Egg Soup takes game two. Could this be a quick three game? Or are we going to see the same thing we saw last time? Two, two, one. That, if it goes five games for all three matches of five stocks... I am going to be surprised. We have never seen that here in a Brawlhalla tournament. So, yeah. Let's see what they're saying. Looks like we're going to Kings. I caught that right before. Steve going to Scarlet. 
Switching up to Scarlet. Egg Soup sticking with his Sentinel. And yeah, this is game three, ladies and gentlemen. Is it going to end here? Or is it going to go to a game four? Maybe a game five. We will see. First hit comes out for Egg Soup. Nice little uh, neutral air combo right there. But nice dive kick into the ground combo there from Stevenator. Let's go ahead and switch this back on over to our full. And what is... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! A lot of shenanigan area! Both players almost making mistakes there in the shenanigan area on the bottom of that right side. Both of them managed to make it out without a mistake actually happening, but that was kind of scary for a little bit. Beautiful stomp into Scarlet. Uh, Scarlet Signature. It's one of those great ones that you see just Scarlet with her hammer. So, so beneficial to use that stomp. Beautiful scoop out of Steve. Does not get the KO, but chasing. Ooh, 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 ooh. That bomb's so close. It was so close. Trying to edge guard there with Scarlet. Oh, beautiful down air from Steve. Throw, and that's the KO. First strike goes to Steve this game. So, yeah. Steve might be making that comeback. Oh, beautiful scoop to punish the signature from Egg Soup. Oh, Steve almost out of dodges there. Luckily, he does go over instead, going for that ground pound. Well, that was interesting. A stomp to a dodge to a side quick. That was, that was definitely interesting. Stomp to side air. Does not take Egg Soup out. He's able to use his dodge, but that stomp to neutral finishes it off. It's a three stock to one stock game here. So hard to overcome. Grand Steve is on that extremely short stock. It's still just so hard to overcome. We've seen it happen, but it is very rare. Egg Soup with the ground pound, the unarmed ground pound, gets that stock off. So we're not going to see that three stock that we might have seen if uh, Steve could have gotten a lot of damage on. And a lot of kind of uh, nothingness happening there. But we do see that end with a couple of hammer hits. Both characters opting for the hammer. And right now, a lot of stomps. Good ground pound from Egg Soup. He's making good headroom here. Just trying to get his fight his way back into this game. Maybe ended in three. But still, I mean, if Steve gets a good combo and a good forced hit... It, it'll be the end of Egg Soup. All he has to do is get a little bit more damage here before going down, and it'll be a one-hit game. Beautiful, beautiful ground pound. Not as much damage as you would have wanted to see Steve get off on that stock, but Egg Soup, beautiful, beautiful way to come back right now. It's a one-stock game. He is hurting with that orange damage. Steve needs to figure something out here, and right now Lance is probably not the thing he needed to fight this hammer and are we gonna see it are we gonna see the comeback a nice bounce there from Steve not garnishing what he wanted with that KO but you know a little bit more damage all oh, beautiful flame roll throw he needs to clear this table out he does not manage to clear the table so it is it is rush down but for me I, I find the uh, the Lance Pretty good at dealing with the Katars, just because of the amount of reach it has and the movement it does have. And a down air from Stevenator sends it to game four. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Player two score. Let's up that to one. I like where this is going. I like where this is going. This is this is fundamentally probably one of the most competitive even tournaments we've seen so far with the semifinals going into these finals looks like we are going to Thunderguard? question mark who put the question mark on that teleprompter you know he'll read anything that comes on that teleprompter all right so it looks like steve switching over to cassidy and yeah it looks like they're going with the basic standard stances I didn't see any variation there. They are capable of using different stances. I don't know if uh, if they're just 
not doing it just to be competitive or if they just feel more comfortable with that first stance. So if you don't know, if you are new to Brawlhalla, let us know, send me a message on uh, on Twitch and we'll actually give out some beta keys. Also after the tournament's done, after we see the completion of these finals, we'll also give out some beta keys to some lucky people. But. But yeah, I mean, it's one of those things, if you're not familiar with it, stances are actually something that will modify your loadout, or your, your character stats. Beautiful ground pound there from Egg Soup. So, each each character has, who sorry, I have to mention this before I go on with what I was saying. That was a horrible, horrible mistake by Steve. He went full tilt right into that... Uh, that mine with his signature move with Cassidy. But yes, for you possible new players out there, new people to Brawlhalla, stances will give you a different stat loadout. So, uh, you know, a Cassidy can go from an 8 dex to a 10 dex. So dex is actually your attack speed. That's mainly what it does. But, oh, nice first strike coming out of Steve there with that... Uh, with that signature, mind you, it was only first strike because Steve killed himself with his own mind off of that brutal mistake. But uh, it looks like he might be making a comeback here. You know, he, he does have it at two, getting some good damage here on Egg Soup. So, beautiful song for this, this comeback that Steve might be making. But no, signature from Egg Soup sends him off the edge. And I think that mistake from Steve might have sealed the deal here. We're going to see this end in four games for Egg Soup. Oh, beautiful, beautiful ground pound through the platform there. And yeah, a lot of... Oh, 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 and we see a mistake from Egg Soup that essentially evens up the game. Oh, two huge game-changing mistakes here in this game four of Mini Tournament 10 semifinals. So, I mean, both players might be feeling a little bit of fatigue at this point. I mean, it has been a good two and a half hour day at this point. Steve going with the signatures. Get some good damage on Egg Soup. It's pretty much even on that damage at this point. But no, the ground pound seals it. Oh, and Egg Soup wins MT10 in game four. Ladies and gentlemen, throw up that chat. Congratulate some, uh, some Egg right now. GG Egg. Good game. Steve, way to get to the semis, or to the finals. You put up a brilliant fight you can see both players with an accident there wow wow that was oh. wow what a beautiful semis into finals ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna jump on over to our scene where you can see my actual monitor and we're gonna post that up egg soup wins at brawlhalla mt10 in four games of the finals of the best guest best of five finals i can't even type right now i'm shivering i'm shaking it was a good semis and finals so yeah guys if you want go ahead retweet that give egg soup some props for winning but yeah, I said we're going to give out 